our neighbors are backyard breeders. So this is a dog that they used to breed, but I guess last time they uh, tried to sell the puppies and nobody wanted them. So they decided that they were gonna just kick her out of the yard by boarding up the back fence and just let her roam the neighborhood. She is now pregnant because of course she's not fixed and they don't care if the puppies freeze to death and they don't care what happens to her. They don't feed her. She wanders the neighborhood, she gets attacked by other dogs, and um, she doesn't have a home. We had seen her for weeks and weeks. She came to our house almost every day. I went outside to go check on her and feed her breakfast, and there were eight puppies. <laughs> and there are some puppies. Hello. And I was just like, well, here we go. Welcome to the cold world. We'll keep you warm. We'll figure out what to do with eight more puppies in the world. And you, sweet mama. And you. We called shelters in the area. Everyone was full. Everybody's full of milk and happy and fat. Yes, you're a good mama. I'm sorry that you got abandoned. I'm sorry. I just can't wrap my head around people doing this to her. She's so sweet. Hey, Mama. You could tell she wanted the attention, but she had had such a hard time asking for it from her previous owners. But since we have taken her in, she's absolutely a different dog. For giving the puppies all the attention, she'll come in and nose in and be like, what's going on? She gets jealous. Where are my pets? Yeah. She just knocked my phone out of my hand. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah! Just a couple of weeks ago, she played with a toy for the very first time. It's so amazing to watch this timid, skittish, terrified dog get to turn into like a real dog yeah. and actually play and learn commands. And she's so incredibly smart and sweet and has so much love to give. I've been clicker training her and doing sessions with her every single day. Good girl. And just seeing how smart she is and how quickly she picks up concepts and gets things. Her confidence has been just so much better and she's so loving. The puppies, we go out there a few times a day. Good morning, puppy noises. Check pads, clean up the area. They're so funny. Every once in a while, we'll like cuddle with one or, you know, we'll bring them in for like, you know, 10 minutes and socialize with them. They're awesome. They're super fun. This has been a really fun experience. There are worse gigs than getting to play with puppies all day. The adoption process has been really fun, and we actually have received a tremendous amount of support and want to adopt Mama Dog, too. She's a great mom, but she finally gets to have her rest. She gets to just be a dog for the rest of her life. The application just started pouring in. I think as of yesterday, we had like over 100. We're keeping them through all three rounds of vaccines to make sure they're ready for their new homes. We have plenty of time to decide. It's our responsibility to make sure that these dogs go to a home that is suitable for them and that they're gonna live their best lives. 